welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all know my lighting just be whatever. It's, it is whatever, okay? But come in. Let me give y'all a few minutes. And we're going to dive right into this topic because a couple people asked after I put up that video. So, yes. I'll wait. And I'm going to move through this video the, the lives rather so yeah uh yes yes what's up what is up yes <laughs> i'm good i'm good i'm good william aurora welcome yes come in come in <laughs> hello hello thank you thank you timothy Yes. Cedra, thank you. Hello. Uh, William, did you see the stick the other day? Or when, when did I stick? I did a stick, right? I did a stick. Yeah. Did you see it? Ooh, your test Saturday. Okay. Day after tomorrow's Friday. Day after tomorrow. I'm excited. You should be excited. Mm-hmm. So welcome, welcome, welcome back, you guys. You missed last Saturday. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, no worries, no worries. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. You meant here Saturday for Bonnie After Dark. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. I'm gonna just get right to the point, you all, and I'm gonna do this like it's a pre-recorded because I was gonna record it, and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go live just in case you guys have questions um, pertaining to processing versus lab assistant and you know because i was talking about apply for lab assistant apply for processing and a few people are reaching out like well you know what is processing so first of all if you're here you're subscribed hopefully your notification bell is turned on all those good things did you get the notifications a few of you here so hopefully you got your notification um hopefully that's still working the way it's supposed to be working but lab assistant slash processor that's what we're talking about because as you all know i've also told you when you're applying for and looking for phlebotomy positions to go ahead and search for lab assistant because that's what phlebotomists are now like we're we are phlebotomists slash lab assistants so we assist in everything pertaining to the lab so this is the difference a lab assistant you're going to be required to stick you're going to be required to process you're going to be required to uh, a session. You guys know what a sessioning is. I used to show you that when I was in the lab, like the barcode, you really just, we would call it in labbing. So you get the specimens and you scan them. Basically, you scan the barcode against the scanner. If I'm sure that's still, that's how it's still done. Um, and that's a sessioning. You're making sure that whatever's in this bag belongs to this person and you're saying that it got to the lab at this particular time. Now that's what a processor does. So lab assistant, let's back up. Lab assistants, you're gonna be on the floor. You're gonna be everywhere. You're gonna be, if you're in a hospital setting, this is hospital settings because processors are in hospital settings. Um, Accessioners are in hospital settings and a processor, a sessioner, that's one title. Like you are a processor slash a sessioner because you're processing and accessioning the specimens that come through for analysis. Laboratory assistant, this is your phlebotomy position. So for those of you who are, you know, out of school and you're searching, you can't get that job, that phlebotomy position, then you're going to search for processor or a sessioner because lab assistants are are you welcome lab assistants are phlebotomists and they're doing everything yes so lab assistants you're answering telephones you are you are um you will use your phlebotomy certification as a laboratory assistant as a processor a sessioner maybe not that's why i always say if you can't get a phlebotomy position right off go ahead and apply for processing and a sessioning because you can get your foot in the door you won't be sticking but you're there and if anything comes available you'll be in line for you know whatever comes up so 
Yes. So that's the difference. It's it's not a big difference. It's the only thing that that's missing is the sticks as a processor or a sessioner. So yeah. So that's why you want to um, make sure you word your searches correctly and um, you know look for what you want. So there's no um, as far as verses like one's better than the other. No, because a lab assistants they process as well lab assistant just has more on their plate because they are doing everything and they're sticking okay whereas a processor you're not sticking a processor you're you're just in core what we call core lab you're in the lab and you're em emptying the tube stations you're emptying the tubes you're making sure that these if they're blood cultures that come down you're making sure that they go over to microbiology if a type in screen comes down you're making sure that it goes over to blood bank and as a as sessioner processor you're you're gonna have to know you remember your medical terminology you're gonna have to know the different color tubes and what what is what okay because if something comes down or you receive something that's not right it's gonna be up to you to know that oh wait that's not right I can't send this uh, these blood cultures to immunology that's not where they're processed so it's gonna be up to you to know where cultures go where a pink top tubes go where pink top tubes go if that's what they use as you know for blood bank or what have you you get tubes with a uh, body fluids in them as well yeah you seen that yet you do you get red top tubes the 10 ml red top tube with body fluid in them so it's going to be up to you to know where those where they go <laughs> processors a session a sessioners you have to be you know you you have to be uh, mindful of the labels the labels have to be correct all of that so that's what you are there to do that's what you're there for as a processor slash uh, a sessioner that's your main job lab assistant it's part of your job because if you're a lab assistant more than likely you're going to be on the floor unless you were hired to say um, manage we used to have windows like there was a window at the lab they still have windows at the lab but if you were placed there to say do outpatient okay you're doing outpatients that walk into the lab walk into the lab you have to register them you have to stick them you have to process their blood you have to do everything for that particular patient bam it's you know it's like a clinic slash hospital because that's outpatient clinic right so you do all of that as well you do the patients if they come through and then you also a session and you process so that's the difference so if and if you're looking for phlebotomy and you're like oh wow i have to do all of that yes as a lab phlebotomist slash laboratory assistant yes you have to do all of that so you know weigh your options what do you want to do are you ready to do that or do you want to ease into the laboratory easily and calmly and just process for a minute and see what a laboratory assistant slash phlebotomist really does and then you can you might say oh wow i might only want to be a lab assistant or phlebotomist part-time you know so don't hurry don't rush to get into these positions you know until you know the difference and you know you can you can see differences and you know pick and choose and say oh i i want to do that i don't want to do that you know i want to do a little bit of that so yes that's what your lab assistant slash phlebotomist versus um processor slash accessioner positions look like that's how they differ so yeah thank y'all for checking out those videos and um yeah, vibing with them. So, but that's all I wanted to do. That's what I came to do. And uh, I saw some, a few more people come in. Trevor, I saw Trevor pop in. Yes, yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. You did make it. Yes. Steady as always. <laughs> gotcha. Yes. So, um, just be mindful of that. And I know a lot of people will come in later. <laughs> I want to dump the PP codes. <laughs> I know. I know. Job apps besides indeed oh um oh gosh they're right on the tip of my tongue i can't even call them out right now out yeah anybody can answer that question i can't even remember i used to know all of them 
but I'll be back with some leads as well. So I do have some leads for accessioning, for processing, uh, as well as phlebotomy and assist laboratory assistance. Now, I have a lot for California and a lot for Georgia. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a couple days, maybe, maybe, maybe a day. Most times I wake up in the mornings and have like a, a few. So maybe tomorrow I'll have some, because I did see something in New York and New Jersey. So if you guys come back, I'll give you all of that information. Yes, we will do that tomorrow. So I'm glad y'all caught me. Yay for the live. So I'm out. I just wanted to put that out there real quick. And uh, yeah. Nice, nice. Got a, got a buddy, huh? Yes. But I will check into those um, job apps, uh, Destiny. Yes, I definitely do that. So y'all have a great evening. I'm glad y'all were able to catch me. And um, yeah, don't forget how they differ and look, search for what you want. And I'll be back. I'll see y'all later. Bye guys.